you are seated in the first six rows of our stadium and you feel the need to stay completely dry, we suggest that you make your escape now, while there is still time left. to 
day, let's get down to the business of the day and read this here will. Not so fast, Sheriff. Why, I've taken all day to prepare one of my world famous gourmet meals. <laughs> <laughs> now that will be enough out of you, young man. Well, if we're gonna have one of them world famous gourmet meals, I'm gonna have to put the will somewhere safe and out of reach. I know, I'll put it upon the mantel. And now... Dinner is served. Woo -woo! This is some kind of 50 table maid. Where'd you get it at? Oh, this, it's just a little something I dug up. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I've prepared some lovely hors d'oeuvres for you and the boys, Sheriff. Do enjoy them. All right, I made those sure to look tasty. Now, boys, the maids spend a lot of time preparing these lovely hors d'oeuvres, so we're gonna have to bite them up off Eve and Steven so everybody gets their fair share out here. Now, let me see now. We got Clyde, we got Seymour. All right, we'll give, let me think here, one to Mr. Clyde and one... Clyde, you stole that fish that time, didn't you? Yes, you did. You sure about that? Not so sure. All right, we'll start right from the beginning. Now, I'm not so sure. Now, let me see. We'll give one to Mr. Clyde and... That's it, Clyde. You stole that fish that time. I saw you. They saw you. So did Seymour. Well, I'm gonna tell you right now, we have the sea lions around here that steal fish. We sneak up to them quiet like and we choke them! <laughs> Not really, folks. We just touch them here. Get it in. What's that? That's ridiculous! That'll be enough out of both of you boys! Sheriff, might I propose a toast to our dearly departed Uncle Schmedley? Well, you know something made a toast would be dandy rude, but the cups you brought out here, why, they're plum empty. Well, that's no problem. We'll just fill them with a chilling can of Pepsi.